Hi, this is Eric, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about object snap tracking and also more about point filters. So right now we're in the world coordinate system, looking straight down. Have a look at my UCS video if you're unfamiliar with the coordinate system. I'm going to go ahead and just arbitrarily draw a rectangle out here in my model space. So I'm going to type in the REC command. I'm also going to type in S for square, which is going to allow me to draw that in there a lot quicker. Now I need to turn on my ortho, and that's the F8 key, and then type in, type in, let's say two feet. Press enter. So we got a two foot square, and I'm going to go ahead, zoom up, and then I'm going to copy it again arbitrarily up here somewhere. Let's talk a little bit about the x-axis and the y-axis. So if I were to move this rectangle in this direction, it's going to be moving along the x-axis. And if I'm going to be moving this rectangle down, let's say I'm going to be moving it in the y-axis. This matches our UCS icon. This will change as we get into 3D. So it's always important to keep this in mind. If I want to move this and line it up along the y-axis here so that it's in line here. I can click on one of the grips, press the space bar, then hover over the bottom corner there, and then just pull my cursor away. As you can see, there is a green line there, essentially drawing in a construction line and aligning that automatically for me. But I also need to lock this movement in with my ortho mode. So make sure that's turned on. And then I simply left click. So now I've aligned these two objects. So it aligns on the Y axis. So simply do the same. Click it. Click on the grip. Press the space bar and then hover it over this corner. Go ahead and turn off the ortho momentarily so that we can see that. And once we get up to the point where we want to reposition this, we just left click it. So that's how you align by object snap tracking. We can track a series of points. So let's go into the object snap menu. Let's type in OS and then just turning on midpoint, choosing OK, typing C for circle, and here I'm going to track two points. I'm going to find the midpoint here, come over, and then find the midpoint here, and then come down and find the intersection of those two points and draw my circle. So that's just one example how you would use multiple track points. But in the last part of this video, I wanted to go over a different method of aligning and placing objects as well. And that's what's called point filtering. So let's cover a couple of basic examples first, then I'll show you a more advanced example. Here, if I wanted to take this set of objects and move them to align with this point here, I could use the X filter, the X filter being aligning it on the X axis and then choosing a point down here to align that too. So in order to apply a filter, you just type in the dot before the axis. So here it's a dot X. Then it's asking me to select the other two points in space. It's needing the Y and the Z. Well, we don't want to move this in the Y direction. We only want to move it in the X direction. And we're not concerned with the Z coordinate because we are in 2D. So we just type in zero. And what that does, it aligns this edge with this edge. Again, that's using a dot X point filter. Let's fast forward into 3D. Now point filters become more powerful in 3D. In 2D, you can really get away with just using object snap tracking. Although they will work in 3D you just don't have the control with object snap tracking. So let's go into the Southwest view here. We'll pan up. So let's go ahead and erase this and extrude both of these boxes. 
by typing the exd command and then giving a height of let's say three feet have a look at this in top view as you can see these two edges align just like we did previously in the 2d let's just skew it out this way and go back into isometric so that they don't align anymore. And let's say if we wanted to take this box and align it with the back edge of the box behind, we would just simply align it with the y-axis here, since we're moving it this way. So we click it. We could type M for move, or we could pick it by the grip either. And then we would use the dot Y, finding the dot Y of the box behind. And then when it prompts us for the X and Z point, we can just simply type in zero. It's going to leave that X and Z value alone and then just slide it along this Y axis so that it aligns properly. We can just, so let's have a look at a more advanced example. I'm going to take this box here and stretch this box. This is actually called a push-pull, where we're pulling this solid up a certain height. And let's go ahead and move this box out this way, making sure our ortho is on, so we're moving it in the X direction. And now let's draw a construction line coming from the midpoint of this box up and over to the midpoint of this box. Let's type in L for line, use the M2P command to find the midpoint between two points. Click this corner, this corner here, and then we'll come up. Now we don't really know the height of this line, but we can get the height from this box over here. And the way we find that height is using the dot Z filter. Clicking on the corner here, coming over and then typing in zero. Then that will establish the height of that line. Then we'll come over, use the M2P again, click on corners here. And now we can view this using the 3D orbit command. So I hope that gives you a good introduction to point filters. We'll be using those a little bit more in videos to come. And let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.